we're just having some quick breakfast. We've hired a driver for today. And we're going to go and explore. I think we're going to head up like Woodward, possibly East Bali is potentially the plan, although we're not entirely 100% sure at the moment where we're going to go. The kind of possibilities are um, the rice terraces, the elephant cave, and like a water temple, but we'll kind of see. Having a driver is the way to go if you want to explore Bali. It costs about 35 pounds, I think it is. 600,000 in Indonesian money, which isn't so bad, to be honest. Our driver's here. We're off. Go back there. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Yeah. What about drinking? Oh, okay. I'm <laughs> running in the car. Oh, oh really? <laughs> <laughs> we arrived at our first stop, Bali, Bidadari. Bidadari? Is that I say Bidadari? Batik. Which is obviously where they do batik paintings and things. Just come to check it out. Oh, here they are. Look, Stephen, you're doing it up here. Say. But look at that they're doing the paintings. going in here we've no idea what's in here that sign says no cameras but I'll try and get a sneaky shot or two for you to show you sneaky video footage this is what's inside it's, very sneaky when you shout it's me. just a shot I'm pretty sure they can hear me can you hear me I hope you can dresses and things with the batik design <laughs> gonna end my sneaky footage now before I get caught Look what Stephen just spotted. It's just underneath where the ladies above. are doing their petite. Oh yeah, above <laughs> where the ladies are doing their petite paintings. A little family of bats up there. A big family of bats. Well, I mean, compared to. I mean, I know. But like, yeah. Whoa! Look at that. I don't know what this place is, but wow. But when we have like a special ceremony. Our next little stop is what's the village called? Selak. Yeah, here. Yeah, Selak village, where we just come to get jewelry, making silver and gold. The glue is made from a seed like this one. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, they used to put one by one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. One by one. But then, after the glue to make it strong and permanent, they sold it using the fire. Yeah, yeah. There's loads of fish, Stephen, right? I'm coming to see more fish. Our next stop is Mammoth Gallery Wood Carving. Let's go see. Check it out. These are all the different woods that they make their stuff from. Well. Inside the shop, so many wooden carvings. Oh my goodness! I think Lara might be getting one, my sister, for uh, for her boyfriend. Okay, we've arrived at Goa Gadja. I don't really know how to say it, but it's the Elephant Temple near Upwood. My mum's not coming because there's so many steps, so she's just gonna grab a drink somewhere. And the three of us are gonna go. Okay, ticket office price wise it's 15 for adults 750 for children they'll give you a sarong as well so you don't need to buy one or bring one or anything they'll just give you one free of charge okay thank you okay come here come here okay thank you oh look at it Stephen down there, there's like, you can hear the water. There is a ton of steps 
well, maybe not, maybe 25, did he say? Yeah. Maybe 25, 30 steps or so More. to walk down to get to this bit. And we're down at the bottom. It's a cave, yeah. The elephant cave. It's warm, right? Here's the entrance. Oh yeah. Find a sign, Buddha temple. Down here. Oh whoa. No, this looks like we've got to go down. Quite a long way. We gotta go down and then back up again. Oh Stephen is a complainer. Trying to show a lot with these um roots. That's crazy. Stephen's complaining having to pose for some more pictures. <laughs> Let's go. Should we go down those steps or should we go across this bridge? Across the bridge. No, I'll be all right. It's really thin as well. I'll be trying to scare me. I've left those two down there. I'm having a little wonder because neither of them are particularly interested in this. Obviously, my sister can't see it, and Stephen is just, I don't know, playing about being too hot or whatever. So, I'm having a little wonder by myself. <laughs> I'm assuming it's a vegetarian restaurant anyway, Buddha Garden, vegetarian. But uh, Nana's up at the top, isn't she? Yeah. My mum's up at the top, so we, well, we did kind of plan maybe we could just leave it <laughs> up at the top and, uh, and we grab some food, but that's a little bit mean, so we're heading back up now. We're off again back in the car. We're going over to Kintamani. Okay, we've arrived at yeah, our next stop. Wait until you see these views, they are absolutely amazing. It's of Mount Bath. There's actually two. One of them is Mount Bath, and one. I don't know what the other one is, to be quite honest. Yeah, I'll show you. Look at the view. How amazing is that view? It's beautiful, right? Okay, we consulted our little map and we figured that, yeah, that is Mount Bato over there, which is an active volcano. It actually just go boom. <laughs> well, I don't think like all of a sudden, well, no, it, it just goes. Just, like, yeah, then... I think, I don't know when it lasted, but it's something like the 60s. I feel like it was relatively recently. Look, look how like the, it's all black and then the, yeah. The forest like, kind of starts like that's where it stopped. I mean, I don't really know that much about volcanoes, like but lava yeah, that's like, where it stopped. Yeah, like, and there as well. Look, there's like houses like right there. I wouldn't want to live there <laughs> just in case. <laughs> It's so amazing and beautiful here. I'm not sure, when we entered, um, we paid 95 so for the four of us. I'm assuming we've just paid like, to get into this area. I don't actually really know if I'm quite honest. We're contemplating whether, not now, but, oh, oh Stephen's dismissed it. We were contemplating until I put the camera on, whether another day, maybe we'll hike up it. Um, I just think that would be cool, like to hike up uh, like an active volcano. We've stopped somewhere along the way to get some food 
This is nice. Look at the nice view we've got here. The koi. Okay, guess what? the koi. What? Social info, if you're interested. Look, Stephen, see all the dragonflies? Yes. So many dragonflies. How beautiful. What a nice spot to have our lunch. Is this the rice fields? You okay? Oh, yeah, and. That's my juice. Can you have a pong? Okay. Our food's arrived. What's flowers? What? Gado gado? Yeah. Gado gado. It is chicken, is it? No, it's vegetable. What? It's not vegetable. No, I'm sure it's got chicken it's on it, hasn't it? Things. And I've gone for soup, which is. A pizza. Which is this a vegetable uh, soup? Bolognese, red beans, pumpkin, spinach, and sweet corn. No. And a. Whoa, there's a fly on it. A watermelon. It's like bean curd. Oh yeah, bean curd, yeah. They're nice. Yeah. Do you want some? No, it's not chicken this one. It's um tempeh, bean curd, boiled egg, vegetables, peanut sauce and crackers. <laughs> we finished our lunch, we are heading off now. I'm absolutely stuffed to be honest. No I'm not, I am oh. no idea. We're going through rice terraces. We've arrived at Tegalang Lang. I think that's how you say it, something like that. Rice terraces. Tegalang Lang. How do you say it? Can you get down that way, Stephen, or not? No? No? The great yellow sun is reflecting in your deep blue eyes. The day has begun. You spin around, you spin around, you laugh to yourself And I see you shine in every color, resting your head in my arms You sing la 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 My God, I think I might be in love Get rid of all your sorrows in the summer city You'll never feel alone as long as you're with me Locals run up and down these rice terraces like it's nothing but oh my goodness, lots of steps, lots of steep steps. And then I had to leave my sister at the top because it was just too hard getting her down and stuff. Well, not at the top, but like a quarter of the way down. There's some big steps, look, that's big. Oh. Yeah. I'm trying to persuade Stephen to, uh, to sit on this swing on. and swing out. It's not like so far down, but you, you think? <laughs> oh, I don't know where Lara's going. I think we are done. We need to find the car. Did I say that Mum stayed in the car? We were quite a while though, I think, were we? I don't know what time we're in. No, I don't know. No, thank you. And that's our last stop on our little tour today, so we're going to head home. It's quite a drive, I think, but we don't have to do it, so it doesn't matter. Not like your normal work, is it? 